What's up everybody? We're back again with another video for the 289 build. In this video, we're going to be installing our timing cover and um, our water pump and the alternator and power steering brackets. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention is all the gaskets that I will be using um, and that I have been using came in a, a, full, a full kit, which I will be linking in the description below. Okay, so this is everything we're going to be using or um, installing. So we have our timing cover, our water pump, both of the gaskets. We're going to be using the harmonic balancer to align the timing cover, the power steering bracket, and the alternator brackets. One other thing we're going to be using is the Ultra Black from Permatex for the gaskets and some anti-seize for the, um, the harmonic balancer. One thing before we get started uh, that I really want to stress is if any of you are doing this, I highly recommend lining up all your bolts, um, the installation hardware, with everything. As you can see, I have all of mine in the place that they're going to be. The reason is because they a lot of them are different sizes so mock everything up um, and make sure the bolt is in the right place. Um, I do have a diagram here that has all these sizes right there if you want to take a screenshot of this or pause it and it shows you where everything's going to go on the water pump. Okay, so first step is we're going to be applying a light coat of the Ultra Black onto the timing cover gasket. It's going to be just a light coat. You are going to want to wear gloves for this so you won't get all your other parts dirty. Um, but let's go ahead and just put a skim coat. Okay, so after you get it everywhere, you're going to want to work it in just putting a light coat everywhere and you're going to go ahead and do it on the other side anyway so it doesn't matter if you get the other side dirty. Okay, so after the gasket is all nice and coated, has an even coating everywhere, um, we're going to go ahead and put it down on the timing cover. Try to align it the best you can. One thing about these timing covers is for the early models, they do not have any dowel pins. So we're going to be using the bolts um, in tandem with the harmonic balancer to make sure we get everything aligned. Okay, so with our gasket now on the timing cover, we're gonna go ahead and feed our bolts through, making sure we don't push out the gasket just like that. Okay, so double check. Making sure everything is okay and we're going to go ahead and start feeding these bolts in. Okay, now that the timing cover is on roughly, I don't have all the bolts um, bottomed out yet. We're going to use the harmonic balancer to help us align it. Like I said, these do not have um, dowel pins. So there, there is a, um, a installation tool for the harmonic balancer, but we're just going to walk it in with the bolt.
Actually, we didn't need to, it just slid right in. So, you just want to make sure it is aligned properly. The reason for the harmonic balancer is so you could see if the seal is pushed more one way than the other way. Um, and that'll help you determine if you need to move it a little bit up, a little bit down, a little bit side to side. But this should be fine. Okay guys, so I want to apologize. Uh, we had a couple camera issues. So I wasn't able to um, record the, the water pump installation or the torque down or anything, but I, I'm gonna go through it anyway. Um, so after I put on the timing cover, I just snugged down the bolts and um, I, I put some RTV, a light coat on the water pump gasket, just like we did on the timing cover gasket and um, made sure everything aligned and went in. And after that, I put on the brackets um, just so we could torque everything down at the same time and uh, once we got everything all snugged up um, I torqued everything down well that that was accessible with the torque wrench down to 15 foot-pounds um, but everything's looking good right now hoping we don't have any leaks now oh I also um, put in the mechanical fuel pump might as well I was already in there um, that got torqued down to 15, in between 15 to 20 foot pounds. Um, but yeah, if you want to install that one, uh, you just have to crank, rotate the crank so it could uh, fit in flush. And when it fits in flush, you just go ahead and torque it down. All right, guys. So I do want to apologize once again for um, the camera issues we had. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get um, most of the install but I hope I was able to explain it well enough um, that uh, that it was clear um, but it is what it is next up uh, for the next video we're gonna be doing the um, the oil pump the oil screen and the oil pan so stay tuned for that that will again be the next video um, to follow along with this uh, build and the fastback please like and subscribe it'll be a huge help any comments or questions, leave them down below. And um, yeah, we'll see you for the next video.